BD5 pilot with you out at the uh, Hillsboro hangar. And uh, you see those two boxes there in the background, that red one and the cardboard one? Uh, that's what I posted earlier in the week. That has the engine and the accessories in it. So uh, we're going to go to work opening those and showing everybody what it looks like. Because finally the airplane and the engine get to meet each other. So what have we got in this, uh, this first box? Well, I got some... Got some ZDZ stickers. A uh, little thank you for ordering. And an instruction, directions for using their engines. Got a ZDZ t-shirt. And here's the ignition system for the aircraft. Quite sure I'm going to figure out where I'd put these. There's the little trumpets for the uh, velocity stacks for the intake system. Gaskets and bolts for the exhaust manifolds. And that, I'm imagining, is the exhaust manifold. I wonder if I can... I wonder if I can open it one-handed. I'm really, really good at this. Tried to not replicate the uh, Saturday Night Live Juliet Child cooking. And cut the dickens out of my finger. And there's one of the exhaust manifolds, complete with the uh, inlet for the uh, oil for the smoke system, the aircraft. Another exhaust header. And then finally the buffer itself, the canister mufflers. So these used along with the uh, with those headers are what give you the, the nice power output out of the engine. So uh, now it's gonna be a matter of uh, what kind of fabrication do I have to do to get the exhaust directed where I want it and these uh, canisters installed in such a way that they don't uh, run into anything else or have to stick out of the plane. Let's open the uh, that other box. Okay, I've got all those little copper wire ties off. Whole new uh, level of irritation with copper. Oh, I know what they did. They used that foam stuff that you put in that uh, I'll have to get the vacuum cleaner out for this. That'll be a mess. Very well packaged though, kept everything safe. Kept him from getting all beat up. All right, I'm about to make a big mess in here pulling this out. So I've got it out, set up on top of that box and I've been pulling the uh, plastic wrapping off. Trying to contain the uh, styrofoam mess. First piece off. I'll bet you're going to be able to see an engine real soon. And there is the, uh, oh, this will all come off. There's the unveiling. So, holy smokes, I've actually got the motor now. And I believe the starter gets pivoted a little bit to sit more vertical. I can have the option of setting the start starter any way along here. Engine's going to rest. prop out sh shift uh, to the back so 
I need to get to work designing the motor mount that'll tie into these bolts on this assembly. So I've loosened that up. I can rotate that. And I think that should be better off if it's straight up and down. Give me an easier access to build the plenums in to cool the cylinders. And there's carburetors. So I've got to uh, <clears throat> make sure the fit for the carburetors into that engine compartment as well as uh, the flutes for the uh, velocity stacks because those end up those flutes end up resting right down in here. Don't want to interfere with the flat mechanism. But uh, all pretty exciting. Boy, that thing's small. It's amazing that's going to be putting out close to 55 horse out of that small of a motor. Yeah, there's my hand right next to it. <clears throat> there's the engine uh, better configured like it's going to rest in the aircraft. But holy smokes, this thing is tiny. Well, folks, that's all I'm going to be able to get done today because I've got to wait for a few more things to come in to get to work finishing this up. And I'm not really going to have time to do it here Thursday afternoon. This weekend, I'm up in Seattle at a seminar, so... Uh, I won't get to work on this until, again until next weekend, so BD5 Pilot is out for now. Everyone, thanks for your support.